Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to share a massive blind buy fail with you. So I just did, what video was it that I talked about this fragrance? I think it was a, it was part two of my really popular fragrances that I love video. And this is, I was thinking that it was this one, but it's not. So the fragrance that we're talking about today is this one here. This is Tori Birch, Love Relentlessly. This is the fragrance that I thought that I loved. Uh, this is so bad to my nose, like, and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. That all, all of you people out there that really enjoy this fragrance, I definitely mean no harm. This is just my opinion and what I enjoy. And sadly, this was such a fail. Like, I immediately, as soon as I sprayed it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's going straight back up on Mercari. Like, I just need it out of my life. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. So I'm thinking the Tory Burch fragrance that I really, really loved is called Just Like Heaven. <laughs> um, I think Just Like Heaven is this really beautiful kind of like it's not that really bad. fragrant floral. It's not? It's not too bad. Oh, I hate it. Oh my gosh. So this one, and I should have known because I, because I didn't remember Just Like Heaven having patchouli in it. And this is, it smells like a, oh, it's not good at all. It's, it's a, like a sweet floral patchouli fragrance. Um, it's not good at all. Let me, yeah. And I immediately, oh, it's so bad. Yeah. It's like a fruit chuli. I think I immediately pulled it up on fragrantica and I was like oh what is this so oh okay well that's good to know people say that it smells like coach one of the coach fragrances so I will definitely avoid that at all costs it also ooh, it also says it smells like Lolita Lampica um, the one in that kind of clover shaped bottle why well, can't I remember the name of it it also says Coco Mademoiselle um, no, I don't get Coco Mademoiselle at all. Coco Mademoiselle is so much better smelling than this. This is way, way sweeter than Coco Mademoiselle. I will tell you, this bottle is amazing. I love the bottle. I think it's so pretty. It's super classy. Like, what a pretty bottle. That is one thing I can say for it. It's a gorgeous bottle. But man, the juice inside. Mm -mm, it is just not for me. This is pink pepper, raspberry, grapefruit, lemon, rose, iris, lychee, jasmine sambac, uh, patchouli, vetiver, sam sandalwood, amber, and amber tonic. I was thinking that this maybe could be the one that I liked. I did not realize that this is so patchouli heavy. It smell. you know what it kind of reminds me of? It reminds me a little bit of Marc Jacobs' Decadence, but I adore Decadence, and I cannot stand this. It's like you put too much patchouli in Decadence and took away the plum. That's kind of what this is like. It's just not good at all. It's definitely going right back up on Mercari. It was such a fail. Like, this is the hardest fail I've had in such a long time. Well, and since we're here, let's end this on a good note. I also picked this up. This is because after um, after Skin Sense for Fuss Pots sent over a decant of, I believe it's this one here, a decant of Lancome Poem, I immediately, I was like, oh my gosh, I loved it. But I knew it was not what it used to be. Um, it's still really, really nice. I would still even wear the reformulation, but the, this is a mini of the original formulation. And this is, it's so, oh my gosh, this is Poem. This is what I remember Poem smelling like. It's so amazing. I'm just going to savor this little mini. It's so strong, You, all you have to do is put just the slightest bit on your hand and it's so fragrant and so, oh, it's just so beautiful. There's so many notes in it. It's got spices and tons of flowers. It's vintage smelling, it's super warm. I worked with a girl that this was like her signature as soon as it came out, I think it was, I think it was 1999. Um, and this actually it had probably been out for a little bit, but this was like her signature 
she wore it every single day. It smelled incredible on her. And this takes me right back because it smells, it's, it's the original. This came from a woman who worked at a perfume counter. Um, so she knew that this was the original formulation and she also knew that this was still good, that it hadn't gone off at all. And it, that's why I picked, that's why I bought this one. I'm gonna look for a full size bottle of the vintage formulation if I can find one for a decent price because I am obsessed. It is so good. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So yeah, that is the bright spot. This was an absolute win. This was definitely a great buy. I was so happy to find this little baby that has brought me so much joy. Um, so anyways, yeah, I just wanted to get on and do a quick video about a massive blind buy fail. Definitely if you're like me and you don't like fragrances like, like this, do not just stay away. This one is so bad. Oof. It's so bad. So anyways, guys, I do hope that you all enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one.